convicted of raping and murdering his sister could get out of prison in as little as 15 years. Today, a Miami-Dade judge made a ruling in the resentencing of Ronnie Salazar. CBS 4's Joe Murray has more. Back in his red jail jumpsuit and shackled, 24-year-old Ronald Salazar shook his leg nervously, waiting to hear how many more years he would spend in prison. That was Salazar when he was 14 years old, describing for detectives how he raped and murdered his 11-year-old sister at their South Miami Heights home. The judge at the time, Ellen Sue Venzer, gave him a mandatory life sentence, but the Supreme Court gave Salazar another chance when they banned life sentences without parole for juvenile killers. Mr. Salazar, please rise. Ten years after she first sentenced him, Judge Venzer told Salazar she's never forgotten him or his victim, but acknowledged his brutal childhood in El Salvador, his parents' abandonment, sexual abuse and poverty, and his unresolved anger when his parents rejected him again after joining them when he was 10, something Salazar spoke about at his hearing. They wouldn't tell me the reason why they left me. It is this court's belief that people are not born bad. Clearly, red flags were being raised and wildly waved, but no one, no one acknowledged them. Mr. Salazar, this court sentences you to 40 years state prison. It is this court's desire that Mr. Salazar receive a review after 25 years of incarceration. Salazar broke down in tears and after the hearing thanked the judge for her compassion. He was a child. And as a child, he needs to be treated differently, and he needed to be treated differently by his parents. He's not at this stage to be released, because Ronald has not forgiven himself. He needs therapy to understand that. Salazar will be getting that therapy in prison. Since he has served 10 years, he will have to wait only 15 more years. A judge will hold a hearing and decide whether he's been rehabilitated enough to become a free man. In Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. The